Hello my dear friends, so welcome back, welcome to your channel Cooking Astrology. First of all, I would like to thank all of you for subscribing my channel and liking my videos. Thanks a lot. So today in this video, let's try to understand planet Venus placement in the 9th house of your Vedic astrological bar chart and what are the interesting events that are associated with this placement. Let's try to understand in this video. See, first of all, you have to have basic understandings regarding the 9th house and the planet Venus in Vedic astrology. On one hand, if I talk about regarding planet Venus, this is a very sensual kind of a planet. Venus represents all the luxurious items, luxurious lifestyle, even all the feminine qualities or the feminine qualities that are present inside you. This thing is ruled by planet Venus. Your love life, your relationship aspect, your ability to handle the relationships with other individuals, these things are governed by Venus. If you are a male, then Venus represents your wife as well. Timings of your marriage is also going to determine from this planet. Apart from this, Venus is originally the controller of the second house and the seventh house. So the, all the possessions, valuable possessions in your life, money, physical currency, that thing is also governed by Venus. Even this is a watery planet. So water represents a lot of emotions. So all the emotions of love, sex, all such kind of emotions are deeply governed by this planet because this is originally the Shukra Charya. So that is having the Sanjeevni Vidya. So that is that aspect is also connected with Venus because one spiritual aspect that is the sign of Pisces where Venus is getting exalted. So that exaltation aspect is also deeply connected with this planet. And both the 9th house and the 12th house, they are ruled by the sign of Sagittarius and Pisces. So that is the realm of the Venus. So that is why Venus in the 9th and the 12th house, it is going to quite a very interesting placement. And on the other hand, if I talk about regarding 9th house, this is the realm of the Jupiter. That is your belief system. The things that you truly believe in. Like if you believe in something, you truly believe in that thing. This is your Dharmsthan. This is the Trine house. So there is a lot of auspiciousness is also governed by 9th house. Even I will tell you, apart from the 7th house, look into the 9th house in terms of your marriage and marriage perspective as well. Planets that are sitting in the 9th house or controlling the 9th house, they are going to give some predictions or give some kind of a results into your 7th house of marriage and married life as well. Apart from this 9th house is the house which determines your luck factor. That is your bhagya. So how fortunate you are, that thing is also seen from 9th house. Long distance traveling, any kind of uh, spiritual pilgrimages that you are going to take in your life, that thing is also seen from 9th house. And even in some parts of our Indian culture, we consider 9th house as the house of father. Relationship aspect with the father as well. So first of all, when you put Venus into the 9th house, Venus feel very comfortable in the 9th house. Because this is the realm where Venus first initially, in the initial stages of their life, initially this Venus have to deal with lot of breakups, lot of relationship issues, lot of love life issues, everything. This Venus is going to deal with all such kind of things. This Venus is even going to give you a lot of affairs in your life. The kind of experiences, I'm talking about love experiences. The kind of experiences that this Venus is going to give you that is beyond some people's imagination. So some heartbreaking moments are also going to be there. Some good moments are also going to be over there. So that is quite a very like, you know, very important or very like eccentric kind of a Venus because Venus is a very sensual kind of a planet. Venus want fun, enjoyment, mental peace, happiness, satisfaction. Venus want to be in its own realm, always in a very happy and that contented mood. So that somewhere Venus in the ninth house is looking for all such kind of a things. And that is where traveling aspect is connected. These individuals in order to feel that regenerative energy inside you, you must need to travel from one location to some new location. And here I'm talking about the frequent travels, any kind of a long distance journeys and even the short distance journeys that frequent travels are going to be deeply associated with this Venus. And only by traveling, only by traveling, you are going to strengthen this planet in your chart. 
second important thing this venus is going to give full support from your child birth as well after it doesn't matter whether you are a male or a female after having the child birth this venus is going to bring lot of fortunate events in your life after receiving the second child birth because first child is seen from the fifth house and second child is seen from the ninth house so that aspect of the child birth the second child is going to be the very fortunate person in your complete life and after that second child birth your complete life the philosophy towards living a life that philosophy is completely or totally going to change into your life as well even this venus has the ability to give you foreign marriage marriage outside your caste creed and culture this thing is very easily seen with venus in the ninth house have you seen my video of venus placement in the sign of sagittarius foreign marriages that thing is seen from this because whenever venus is having any connection with the sign of sagittarius it only represents the foreign marriage and that is i have seen the practically i have seen these kind of a things even this venus is not very good in terms of like giving you a very good marriage life but still this venus have the full ability and potential to bring the emotions outside and then the other person is also going to bring his or her emotions outside so that is the main role play you can call this venus as a drama queen queen or that pure drama is going to be happening in the ninth house apart from this as i told you the foreign marriages and the foreign traveling these aspects are very deeply interconnected with this venus and in the sign of sagittarius this is the realm of the sagittarius the belief system of your life is going to totally reshaped by the love experiences that you are going to take in your life i have seen in some charts with venus placement into the certain nakshatras this placement can also give the extra marital affairs as well so this is quite a very eccentric kind of a venus this is not a very easy venus here venus want to experience everything whether it is sexual desires whether it is love experiences because here venus is not constant the energy of venus is like venus want to expand in this house just like the jupiter it represents expansion so venus want to expand venus want to experience everything every hope wish desire and even venus has the ability to experience all such kind of a things and based upon that all that love life experiences their personality that is their ascendant planet sitting in the 9th house is directly going to impact your ascendant as well because the trine houses first fifth and ninth they are very very important houses in your chart and these houses are going to have some deeper impact upon your personality i'm not talking about the planets controlling these houses planets sitting in these houses they are going to have that impact in your life apart from this venus is also looking into your third house that is the house of your communication your gestures hand gestures your ability to present yourself in front of others this venus is very excellent in doing all such kind of things in terms of event planning any kind of uh, communication aspect where you need to present your ideas because this venus is also going to have that kind of a diplomatic attitude venus is very very clever in the ninth and in the third house so this axis any planet that falls into that axis it is going to inherit lot of cleverness so venus is getting very very clever in terms of communication as well they have the better ability to understand other people emotions as well also these people are very good in hiding their emotions suppose they are suffering they are having lot of pain inside their heart they are not going to show that pain in front of you because some aspect i told you some deep broke or some very deadly like heart touching experiences are going to be seen with this venus and these are the kind of experiences they will never ever share with anyone and that is where they are having the better understanding towards the human emotions as well any kind of a healing therapies career into the field of planning home designing decoration spirituality adhyatm vipassana centers and these all such kind of a things this venus has the ability to take you into that side as well because venus in the sign of jupiter and jupiter venus feel very very comfortable it is not like that venus in the sign of sagittarius or in the ninth house so that is quite not very good that is a good thing apart from this if this venus is in conjunction with many planets rahu is over there mercury 
this winner still have the ability to perform excellent results. The main drawback with this Venus is the relationship aspect with the father is not very cordial. And there are going to be some very difficult childhood experiences that are going to be deeply seen with this Venus. Pick up any chart, pick up any of your friend circle, any relative chart. Look, if Venus is in the ninth house, I will tell you there are going to be some deep karmic connection with the father. Father act as a major obstacle in your complete life whether you admit it or not. But that obstacle is going to be present with this Venus. Apart from this one more thing, if you look, Venus is going three places away from the seventh house of the marriage. So that struggles, that hardships, that things are also going to be seen with this placement. Because these, these kind of individuals, they are always looking for that true love experience again and again in their life. But they will not find that true love experience again and again, again, again. They will only find that true love experience once in their lifetime. And that one true love experience is sufficient to reshape their complete life. That is why suppose if some individuals are suffering in their love life, they are not having very good life, love life. This Venus have the ability to guide those individuals as well. Even in terms of the business, this Venus is excellent, I will tell you. Marvelous placement. After marriage, if you are a male, your wife is going to open that aspect of your business in your life as well. Because Venus, any connection with the ninth, third axis, this Venus has the ability to open up the money and wealth aspect as well. This Venus is also after money. This is not only after finding true love. This Venus also want that lot of money, lot of money. Because there are going to be lot of desires that are associated with this Venus. So Venus is also after attaining lot of materialistic riches as well. Even I will tell you, if the Venus is in the ninth house, if that person is going to enter in your life, your bhagya or your fortune is going to change completely. This person is completely going to bring lot of fortunate events in your life in terms of the materialistic riches. Apart from this, even if this Venus is in not a very well, well dig, good dignity, it is in the animal sign or in the debilitated, then this is quite a very tough placement because then Venus is going to think only in terms of the practicality. Then the love life, all such kind of a things, then there are going to be a lot of sufferings over there. But in terms of the professional aspect, then the, this Venus is going to give you the marvelous amount of results. So that's it guys from my side in this video. I hope you like the analysis. If you have any queries, any consultations regarding your Venus placement, marriage, married life, career consultation, even the spiritual consultation, do let me know. I'm going to respond to you back as soon as possible. Till then, subscribe my channel below and make sure to hit the like button if you really enjoyed this video. And please follow me on Instagram as well. Till then, please take care of yourself. And I'm going to meet you very, very soon in the next video. Bye-bye.